Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Patches Farm. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about spider webs and what's the importance of having spider webs on your farm. If you look right down here, um, we've got spider webs. Okay, and right here by my foot, there's some more, there's some more, there's some more. There's spider webs. It's just a sea of spider webs around here. And uh, spider webs are extremely important to see on healthy pasture because if you've got soil life, you got amphids and all this stuff coming out in the grass. Your spiders are going to be there, okay? If you don't have any spider webs anywhere on your farm, well, you don't have any life in your soil. Why don't you have life in the soil? Well, it could be because you're continuous grazing, so you're not le leaving a canopy. Folks, we just had the cows here a day and a half ago. Look at the grass. See, there's, there's stuff here for soil life to live in. My hands are wet, okay? It needs to be a moist condition to have a lot of soil life. If you're going to get dry and the soil dries out, you're not going to have much soil life uh, to feed the, feed the spiders. We've got big spiders, little spiders, medium spiders. There's just a whole host of spiders. And the more different species you have, the better. And so we're really excited when we come out in the pasture early in the morning. Before the sun comes up, you ought to be able to look across your pasture and there'll be just spider webs everywhere. When the sun comes up, it'll show them, okay? They just, you can just see them. It's just a, a canopy of them everywhere. I get excited, okay? Because they are a predator. They're, we're feeding that predator. And I want y'all to remember something. For every species that you can attract to your farm, it supports eight additional ones. So if you think of your farm as this spider web of life, okay? It's like dominoes. You get one going, then you got more, 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 more. We've got everything coming onto our farms now. We've even got bobcats now living on our farm. And people go, oh, God, Greg, you got bobcats. you got sheep. What do you do about your baby lambs? Well, you've got guard dogs. Them bobcats aren't going to bother them sheep. They're going to go eat a mouse or a squirrel or a rabbit. And that's why we like brush piles. Everybody burns their brush piles, okay? Build some brush piles to feed your bobcats and your coyotes, your foxes. They're not going to be as apt to kill your, your domestic livestock. Um, we are predator friendly today. We used to shoot coyotes. Uh, I used to think they are going to put me out of business. And then Ian came here from Africa, and Ian used to kill predators on his ranch. Every time he'd kill a predator on his ranch, he started losing baby calves. And he's like, wait a minute, what am I doing? So what he was doing, he was killing the ones that were adapted to his farm, thinking they were putting him out of business. Those are the ones that kind of knew the ropes. And then these strange predators started coming in. Every time he killed one, new predators would come in, and they started killing. So we don't, I mean, I don't shoot coyotes. I'm not going to shoot coyotes on my farm, because if I do, I'm going to start losing baby lambs, or maybe even a calf. But back to the spider thing. Look out across your land. Build some of this. You know, you, you've got to have some dust down there. That's what feeds the soil. And it's a whole cycle of life where everything gets going, okay? Um, we've got a little extra noise this morning. I'm going to pick this up. <laughs> because Venus is going ape over her ball. Her, we call this her squeak toy. Anyway, Venus, you can... No, you can... You can come back to your squeak toy when we get down with the video. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this dog loves. She lives for a ball. That's all she lives for. She, she's looking for it right now. She's very upset because I took her ball. But as soon as it's done, I promise y'all, I will throw it to her. And uh, she'll be a happy camper again. Uh, matter of fact, as we wrap up, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that so y'all don't think, well, Greg didn't give her back her ball. Cause I did. Here's her ball. Venus, here's your ball. Go get it. Okay, now she's a happy camper. Folks, this is Craig Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day.